It's Mini Make Monday, y'all, and today we are making this mini junk journal tag book that is part of my Heart of Thanksgiving collection, and I have so many tips and tricks to share with you, including a super quick and easy no-sew binding technique that you are gonna love. Plus, I'm gonna show you how to get this kit for free, so stay tuned. Here we go, y'all. Well, hello and welcome to Pink Paper Peppermints. My name is Melissa and I'm so glad you're here. We are making this mini junk journal tag book today and it is part of my Heart of Thanksgiving collection, which you can find in my shop. And I'm gonna tell you how to get this kit either for free or discounted in just a few minutes. But I wanted to tell you that we are actually doing a journaling event. And when I say we, my friends on Instagram and my friend Nicole from at Goosekeeper Designs have put together a gratitude journaling event that we're gonna be doing starting October 22nd. So we would love it if you would join us and we have a free starter kit for that event in my shop. The link is below. So just head over there and get that starter kit and it will explain everything and how to join us. So now we've got all of our pages printed out and now we just need to cut everything out. Those are the blank journal pages and this is the cover and tags and tabs. I'm just going to cut all my pieces out and once I have those cut out I'm going to put the book together. So the first thing that you do is you're going to take your cover that's cut out and you can see I've printed it on both sides. The kit comes with some pattern paper to print on one side and your cover on the other. And then I'm just going to fold my square pages. The pages are three by three square and choose my cover. And I like that counting your blessings for my cover. But there's this is a vintage wallpaper and some vintage pa uh, dictionary pages. You could use that for your cover, whatever you like for your cover. And you're just going to fold all these up. I love this one. It's a postcard that was mailed on Thanksgiving Day, 1910. And it says, well, I guess I've eaten too much is the first line on the postcard. Love that. So so once you get all your pages put together, you're just going to put them in your book. This is one of our pocket pages and you just fold the strip at the bottom up to create your pocket and then seal up the sides. I like to use my sewing machine to seal those up, but you could also use washi tape or adhesive, a stapler, any way that you usually like to seal things up. You're going to seal those pockets up. Now, I didn't print anything on the back of this, but you could print ledger paper or a pattern paper from the kit on the back, and then your pocket becomes reversible. The tags that come with the the kit are sized to fit in those pockets and we're going to decorate those in a little while. So here you see I've ha I've got my pockets all sewn up now and they're ready to go in the journal. Now I'm going to show you a binding technique later that makes it to where you don't have to worry about the order that you're putting everything in because you'll be able to switch uh, the pages around and I cannot wait to show you that. Here I'm just taking some ephemera and adding it to my book and I wanted to show you with this ticket ephemera if you use your hole punch and just punch a half hole in those little uh, semicircles it makes it so much easier than trying to cut those out with your scissors just a little tip for you there and if you happen to have one of these punch wheels you can find these in the sewing notion section of your craft store you can actually perforate your paper and make your tickets look even more real with those little perforations in them I love that little punch wheel I use it a lot so I'm wrapping my tickets around my book now and adding my ephemera in and this is a little mini page wrap. Now page wraps come with all of my kits and they're sized to fit in standard and B6 Traveler's Notebook inserts and wrap around the pages. And when I made the mini tag book, I, I thought I have to make a mini page wrap as well. So this is some ephemera. And what I'm going to do here is just fold this in half and leave kind of a little tab on the other side. And you'll see I'm going to attach some ephemera to that later. And speaking of tabs, I wanted to show you a trick for cutting these tabs out. They're, they can be tricky in the center. So once you get the outside edges cut like this, go ahead and fold it in half and using some detailed scissors, cut those little white inside parts at the same time. And that's going to make it a lot easier and it's going to make your edges a lot more even if you fold that in half and cut those at the same time. And then you can add those into your book. So these are some numbered tabs that come with the kit. And because our theme is counting your blessings this year, I thought it would be fun to create numbered pages. And I'm going to have everyone in my family on Thanksgiving tell me their favorite blessings this year. And I'm going to add them into my book with a little mini picture of them on each page. So that's what I'm doing here with the those numbers and you can use those numbers maybe you just want to count your personal blessings you could do that too here I'm creating a pocket from one of the pieces of ephemera I've used my sewing machine but you could glue or staple it on and if you don't like the sewing showing on the cover you could print two covers and wrap that outside cover around it and attach it and then your sewing doesn't show on the outside I actually like the 
the sewing, but it's up to you. This is some pleated ribbon that I've just attached to the ephemera to give it some texture. And now I'm gonna decorate my tags and I wanted to give you a little tip on ribbon. If you have thick ribbon like this pink velvet ribbon, you can just fold it in half and twist it and staple it to the back of your tag and that makes it a lot easier than trying to get it through a tiny little hole and I always tear the hole when I do that. So this is something that I do when I have thicker ribbon. You can use one of the little tabs to cover up the staples or what I like to do is take some silk flowers and just kind of bunch them up and staple them to the front of the tag at the bottom of the ribbon and I think that gives it a really full and pretty look and just slip that into the pocket. So now we're gonna make a little shaker page and I'm using a Simple Stories page protector. These are two inch squares that I'm cutting apart. One side I've had to cut off, so I'm just gonna seal that up with some washi tape. And I love using these page protectors in my books and I'll actually link you to a couple of other videos where I've used these page protectors in my books. And once you get it all cut up, the next thing that you're gonna do, make sure it fits in your book. And then I'm gonna put some pumpkins that I've printed out from my kit I'm going to glue these back to back because our page is two-sided. We want to have a pumpkin on both sides. And if it's got a little bit of a white edge, you can trim that off. You could also just leave it with the glitter in there. It's not as noticeable. And I'm using chunky glitter from Michaels. And just going to sprinkle it into the little pockets here. As you can see, I'm doing here, I'm using iridescent and rose gold. And they're so pretty together. And now I've just sewn up the top with a zigzag stitch. But you could also use washi tape to seal that up. And my little page is complete. So now I'm using these little tabs. And these actually are not part of this mini kit. They are from my larger ephemera kit, which is in the shop right now. And I'll link you below. And I'm just going to create some little tuck spots in my book by stapling these two pages and then you can just slip in some ephemera or photos or tags and it holds them in for you but they're removable so you can write things on the back and this little apple is actually part of the mini kit and I'm going to slip that in here this leaf I'm going to wrap around the edge and staple it and that gives a pretty edge to your book and makes it look more full and these pieces of ephemera are also from that larger ephemera kit, which by the way, that is actually on sale right now, if you wanted to go and take a look at that, and I'll link that in the description below. And so what I'm gonna do with this first piece, I wanted to put a little note at the beginning of my book, kind of explaining how we're counting our blessings. And so I'm just gonna journal on the back of this note and I'm going to fold it in half and it says greetings from on the front so I thought it'd be fun to put the O family and the date there and I'm just going to tuck that into that front pocket and so this is the tag remember we created a little tab with it and I just attached this scripture card to it to make kind of a dimensional fold out there here I'm creating some tip outs with some washi tape and all I do is just add the washi tape to the front and the back and then it folds out and gives you extra room for journaling or pictures and I'm doing the same thing here with this little flower sack which by the way this is one of my favorite pieces in the kit I just love this little flower sack and it just folds down the same way and creates a tip out and then I have this little casserole dish and I ran that through my typewriter and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add some washi tape to the bottom and create a little tip out that I can journal in. So now I wanna show you the binding technique that I was telling you about. You're just gonna take your hole punch and you're going to punch a half circle at the top and bottom of the fold of your cover. And if you see here, I kind of missed the fold a little bit, but it's okay, it's still gonna work just fine. And we are going to use our secret ingredient, which is hair elastics. Now you can use the larger one if you have a really thick book, or in this case, I'm gonna use the smaller one because my book's not quite thick enough yet, but it might get thicker and then I can just switch out elastics. And once you slip that on and into those notches, your book is bound, that's it. And it's so easy then to remove pages or to switch the order of the pages, but they're still tightly bound into your book. Now, I don't like that black elastic, so I've cut some four and six inch ribbon strips and I'm just gonna tie those in a knot around the elastic. I can still remove the elastic if I need to, but it gives a really pretty finished binding to my book. Now I've got one more thing that I wanted to show you and that is some glitter leaves. So these leaves I got at Hobby Lobby, they call them a uh, fall party confetti. And I'm just taking some iridescent medium and brushing it across the top and letting that dry and they become very sparkly. The other thing I do is use some matte medium and just sprinkle some of that chunky glitter that we used in our shaker page and let that dry and you get these really pretty sparkly glitter leaves to add to your book. 
So let's talk about how you can get this kit for free. If you are watching this video today, October 15th, 2018, it's Make and Take Monday. All you need to do is go to my shop, put this kit in your cart, and use the code that you see on the screen right now, and it will get you this kit for free. If you're watching this and it's not Make and Take Monday, that code will still get you 20% off the kit. So you can still purchase it and make this book along with us. Well, if you enjoyed this video, would you give me a thumbs up and maybe share this video with your crafty friends? I would so appreciate that. And I will see you next time here on Pink Paper Peppermints.